I was like, get your ass out of Texas, okay? There's no need for you to still be in Texas. Welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new, it's Sahara. I am going to be trying out some lunar makeup in a <laughs> and it may take a while, so we're just gonna get started. We don't have time. <laughs> Everything will be linked down in the description below. Colored Rain Paint Base. And if you don't know about the brand Colored Rain, it is a black owned brand. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it too much anymore. This is the paint base, eyeshadow base. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in right quick. So this is how the packaging looks. This is the box. It's like a paint box because it's called the paint base. So I got this base in the shade Rope. It comes in about four shades and I got the second one. Um, Juvia's Place and P. Louise, anyone? <laughs> I love that brands are starting to come out with bases in this packaging. It's so easy to just squeeze it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw that box away. I'm not keeping that box. <laughs> I don't like how it looks. Remember in my last video where I was throwing away my makeup, I was telling you guys that I keep my boxes. I only keep cute ones. But I don't understand the consistency of how this product is trying to come out, but let's just blend it out. Let's see. It's like it wants to come out liquidy, but then it kind of blends out like it's a little thick. So I don't know. I'd probably say it has more of the consistency of the um, ABH primer eyeshadow base. It also seems like it's drying down really fast. I didn't read, read any claims on this base, but it definitely seems like it dries down really fast and has like a matte finish. I just went ahead and did this quick eye look off camera. I blended some greens and blues together. Now I'm going to go back in with this base. The eyeshadows blended very well over this base. I didn't have any problems. Nothing was tugging or pulling on the um, lid as I was blending it. So I'm just patting this back on. I went ahead and cleaned the lid up. I just went from like oh sh <laughs> I just went in a crease with the matte shades from blue to green and then on a lid I went from green to blue just um I don't know just doing a quick look this is my first time using some Danessa Myricks products which is why I just wanted to do this eye look off camera because I'm going to be trying her color fix neon waterproof matte liquid pigment for the face and body a UFO which is this neon yellow Looks a little bit more yellow on camera than it does in person. Wasabi, which is a green. But I thought that the yellow was too yellow and the green was too green. So I went ahead and bought both of them. And I was like, maybe I can mix them together. Hopefully it works out. Where's my liner brush? Literally took three weeks for me to receive this stuff from Danessa Myricks because of Camera Ready Cosmetics. And it kept saying... It arrived at a part in Texas, it departed a part in Texas, then it arrived at a different part in Texas. And I was like, get your ass out of Texas, okay? There's no need for you to still be in Texas. Here is the yellow, here is the green. I'm gonna mix them together. Let me put a little bit more yellow in there. So these are very creamy so far. That's a little bit better, it's getting brighter. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do my liner look how I always do in the crease as like a graphic liner. I am definitely having trouble with this Danessa Myricks. The yellow was fine on its own. I try to go over the green. I feel like it is cracking a little bit. I really don't want to take this eye look off. I just like tried to fix it around here a little bit so I didn't have to remove the whole thing. Next time what I'm going to do is apply like the crease shades and then go back in, clean up the lid, then apply the liner in the crease and then go back in with the lid shades. I've done it before. Um, it's a little bit more time consuming I would say but I'm gonna try to make these work. I'm gonna have to, right? <laughs> it's like I ain't fighting for nothing. I went ahead and applied my mascara and lashes. For mascara, I use the Joa Lash Uprising. And for my lashes, 
I use Ioni lashes in the style XL Wispy Dramatic. I wanted to go really dramatic with this look. And I've gone so dramatic that I didn't even cut them because they're... <laughs> I've never even worn them and you know like they come really long so you have to cut them. So I feel them all in here but I was like whatever. I don't have a new primer so I'm going to go ahead and use the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Primer. Now typically when using this primer I'll use it with my Wet n Wild Primer Serum. I just like how it works together. But I'm going to be testing out the LYS Serum Foundation. And I was thinking that two serums don't make it right. <laughs> and it may cause the product to separate. So this is the box of the foundation. This is by the brand LYS Beauty, which stands for Love Yourself. It is Sephora's new black owned first black owned clean beauty brand. So that is the packaging and here is how the actual foundation bottle looks. It is a triangular shape. I do have mine in the shade TN6 which stands for tan neutral since I have a neutral undertone and the number 6. Now I agree with everyone when I say that it is hard to find your foundation shade. When I was at Sephora, I think it was last year, maybe the year before that, 2020, I'm not sure. Whenever this brand launched i had asked the lady at sephora and it does come with a pump you know why is this brand not in store because i really want to see the shade and she was basically trying to tell me that without actually saying they only really distribute products that are popular that people are buying that are in demand so I'm going to go ahead and pump some on the back of my hand, hoping that it's the right shade. Now, I just pumped a couple of pumps. <laughs> I didn't even count. I am going to use the Japanesque 709 brush because this is a serum foundation. I'm not um, going to blend it out with a sponge because I feel like it would just soak up all the product. I'm not going to do a sponge on one side and a brush on the other. Oh, God, it's looking a little dark. I had... um told Sephora that they need to bring LYS in stores and they need to bring Danessa Myrick's Balm Contour. So hopefully they do. The girl online that I went by, she looks similar, like a similar shade to me. And she said that this was perfect on her, but it's looking a little too dark. So I think her lighting was throwing me off. All right, so let's see how this product blends out. And I do have a mark right here where I got bit at. <laughs> so if it can cover that, it's doing pretty good. And they also came out with a brand new concealer. A lot of mixed reviews. The concealer had no coverage. It was too drying. And I was waiting for a girl to review it. She just said, well, this was sent to me. And she used it. And she really didn't give a review on it. It was more like, oh, yeah, I like it. And kept it moving. It's like, do you really like it? <laughs> Very glowy. Um, it does cover a little bit. I will say that it is a light to medium coverage. I don't think I want to build it up anymore. It's not my perfect shade match, but I feel like once I use concealer and stuff, it'll really help it. I don't know if I should say dark or orange. I don't know, but like I said, I have a neutral undertone, so we'll just see where it takes me from here. I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer in the shade 2.5W. Since I'm going to be trying out... Um, Laura Mercier's powder for the first time. I might as well just use their concealer that I haven't used in a minute. This is the Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. I did pick mine up in the shade medium three. So I think it comes in three shades in each category. Three light, three medium, three dark, and three deep. It's really, really pretty. It's like that high quality, um, high end luxury packaging. It kind of reminds me of like a Tom Ford packaging and also, um, who was that Spice Girl name? <sighs> Victoria Beckham. I think it reminds me of her packaging too. For this gold part, what you do is you press it and then it opens up the contour like this. Let's see. It feels very, very creamy. I hope that's not too dark. Oh my gosh. If I <laughs> can't get this right. And here is the mirror. Probably should have just kept the plastic on since this is a cream product. Oh, this mirror is really nice. 
And also, by the way, when I purchased the products from LYS from Sephora, I did receive as a sample the Spice Balm um, Vic Victor and Rolf. It is very, very strong and spicy. It has like a more cinnamon type of scent. Not my favorite. I think it is men's, but yeah, still, you guys know, I'm, I don't mind wearing men's stuff. So <laughs> The other thing I got was this NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I got four samples right here. I could try it out, but I don't know. Probably not. I'm going to go ahead and zip this in. It picks up a good amount. Oh gosh, I probably should have went for medium too. But I do not mind a strong, harsh contour. And of course, like I said in one of my other videos, I stopped applying contour and bronzer around here because I don't need to slim out what's already not non-existent, <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my foundation brush. It does blend out very beautifully, you can see that. Um, I feel like it does take a little bit more arm work. Satin finish as well, it almost looks a little matte. I am glad I got this shade because I feel like it blended out very well and it doesn't look like really harsh and dark. A newish blush that I recently bought for the first time is the e.l.f. Putty Blush in the shade Bahamas. Now in that colored rain order, I did pick up one of their bl brushes. I have been wanting one of these angled brushes for a while now because they just look so pretty and this is the small angled face brush this specific one has like this pinkish purplish ombre packaging but their other ones the other brushes that i wanted to buy that i was like no you do not need it they have more of like a brown um ombre shade and i have the color rain brush right here of course and then i also have the japanese brush you can see that they have like that where it goes from like this I guess you could say like dark haired brush to like this black section right here and then it goes to like this white. It's that way with this Japanese brush too but anyway I just wanted to mention that so yeah these brush hairs what however whatever this is called it's nice. <laughs> Ooh. Oh this brush is nice and I feel like it would be good for concealer too I can't believe I just did that. I hope <laughs> so say, I hope no orange got there and it fits really well into the um, putty blush it's applying the right amount it's not giving me a hard time to like really stamp it on and apply it like you guys see how it's just it's giving me a nice natural flush it's not making me apply too much and it's blending it out as I put it on I might have to go back and get me another one of these because I think it was like only ten dollars could have been on sale so excited about this one I picked up the Laura Mercier powder for the first time and I'm extra excited because I also got the jumbo limited edition anniversary edition this is I guess their 25th edition so let me just tell you guys a little bit the original size is a one fluent ounce and it costs $39 for this limited edition one it comes with 1.7 fluent ounces which um, is almost the size of the original plus another one so it's like two for the price of one and this one was $49 which is just $10 extra for this and in this box Allure Mercier powder puff which you don't receive that in original one so it's like you're getting this free I heard that it's not the exact same one that they make that they made this a little bit different but I mean it's still free uh, the actual powder puff costs $16 individual and then once you open up the packaging here is the powder so it has like this design on it it comes in this gold top it says Laura Mercier the powder I did pick up mine in a trench shade translucent honey and also in this order I um, bought a Juvia's Place lipstick and then I also got some LA girl liners the Juvia's Place was $14 the powder was $49 the eyeliner was $349 and then these three were $314 and then I also got a sample pack of some stuff as well the total came out to $75.91 Ulta sometimes has like $15 off your order of $75 and more um, prestige brands included so that I also got the $15 off of that another thing if you don't know is every time you purchase something if you sign into your account 
or if you're at the store and they ask for your email or your phone number that's points added on so I didn't know that I accumulated 600 and something points which totals to $20 so I also got that off which brought my total to $43.24 for all of this and just think about it the powder alone was $49 and I only paid $43 for the lipstick the liners and this so that's what I want to mention definitely pay attention to that um Sephora does not do that <laughs> so it's always good shopping at Ulta if they have what you need I will compare these right quick because I do want to mention I know a lot of people have been saying that this shade translucent honey is a really nice banana tone Anastasia Beverly Hills loose setting powder in the shade banana you can see this is a nice pale yellow the translucent honey has more of like an more orange type of tone so if you've ever if you've ever had Ben Nye banana powder, you'll know that that powder has a more orange type of tone to it. And this is definitely what this translucent honey powder has. So yeah, you can see the difference. So if you're looking for a more true yellow loose powder, get the ABH banana. But if you don't mind one that has a little bit more orange peachy tone to it, then get the translucent honey Laura Mercier. But of course, let's stop rambling and put this powder on i'm just going to use this sponge and it's not wet it's from elf okay that brought like literally nothing out <laughs> and i'm so excited because this is like my first time using a laura mercier powder and i have heard nothing absolutely nothing but good things about laura mercier's powder so I'm holding this to a high standard, the highest standard that you can hold something to. <laughs> so far, I love, oh, that's really nice and smoothing and it's brightening too. I don't know if I could use this all over my face because that is a little bright. I have really dry under eyes and it does not feel dry at all and it feels so smooth. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly set because like I said, this serum was a little bit, um dark anyways wow that is like really 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 smoothing and it feels nice and set and it's not drying at all and i just like clean this whole thing out <laughs> Ooh, it makes the skin look really smooth the lys no limits bronzer doesn't this look like a pizza box look at how this opens up so it has all of the information on the back and then here is how it looks. It does have like that same type of triangular packaging and it has a rose gold packaging. It's like this metallic look. Um, so one thing I will say that I'm a really, really annoyed about. Hold on a sec, because I'm gonna go off for no reason. Okay, never mind. <laughs> But when I first got this, I was like, I was so annoyed because the mirror has scratches on it. And I'm like, why would they put a mirror without plastic on there? But now I see that the peel off part is in the corner. I could not see that at all. Oh yeah, that is an excellent quality mirror. I was nervous for a second because I was like, how are they going to bring me a mirror with a um, product with no plastic over the mirror? So anyway, look at me getting annoyed for no reason. <laughs> So I got mine in the shade Tan Courage. It's called Courage, but it's the shade Tan. I think this is the third shade. Um, it kind of a little bit reminds me of Fenty Beauty's, I guess the powder version of Fenty Beauty's cream bronzer in the shade Teddy. I use that one a lot, and this is kind of what it reminds me of. And I love that you can go ahead and keep dipping it in <laughs> like I always do and not have to worry about it looking harsh or applying too much. It doesn't smell like anything either. I'm garbage. <laughs> not keeping that. Not keeping this um, packaging either. Danessa Myrick, should I keep this? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely keeping this Laura Mercier though. I feel like whenever I apply this um, blush, I don't need a powder blush. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the Milk Makeup Iced Flex Highlighter. Not new or anything. I'm not going to apply a whole lot. I'm really loving how this skin is looking. Of course, I'll let you guys see. Up I said not to apply no more product right there. Okay. 
because it looks like you're sweating down here whenever you apply um, highlighter on the chin. This is the LA Girl Ultimate Eye in a shade super bright. Very, very creamy. It's just a nude eyeliner, but I wanted a nude so I didn't always have to apply white in the eyeliner in a waterline. So this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in the shade Fresh. And this is a beautiful blue. I really should do this one right here. But I want to try the neon green. So this is in a shade Gotcha. This is probably the only shade that's a little bit more on the dry side and not as bright as I was hoping. And then I also picked up the purple one in a shade Vivid. Very, very creamy. So this is how they look. And yeah, I'm going to try the green. Oh, I got locked jaw. Oh, shoot. All right, I feel like the more you keep trying to blend it, the more patchy it's getting. What is going on with these neon colors that they're going patchy? <sighs> um, should I apply this blue? I'm just going to see how the blue looks. Oh, this lock jaw hurts really bad. <laughs> All right, that is really, really pretty. I just kind of went and did half and half blue to green. When you apply the color in the waterline and then you go back in with eyeshadow, it really helps to make the eyeliner pop, especially if the shade that you apply on the lower lash line is dark, which 10 out of 10 times it will be. <laughs> it will be. I'm not going to apply any light setting spray. I have the Ioni lip gloss. So Ioni is the eyelash brand from the Dollar Tree. Um, they came out with some products to extend the line, but the only thing I wanted to try was the lip gloss. I have it in, so this Ioni lip gloss is in the shade P, B, and J. Okay, pinky nude. It's not my color, cup of tea, but I feel like with a simple eye look and a pair it with a lip liner, maybe this spring and summer. The Juvia's Place, the chocolate nudes, this or the nude chocolates in the shade Toffee. I love this Juvia's Place formula. This is the one that has like that tri triangular shape. This matte formula is so nice. You guys see how wearable that is? Like a nice toned down brown that because <laughs> most of the time people kind of um, shy away from wearing brown like myself because it just it looks too full especially deeper brown the lip bar which is that brand that i was talking about in my last video lip liner in the shade smudge proof so this is an, not not the shade smudge proof it's it's a smudge proof lip liner with jojoba oil and aloe vera straight living and it's a brown it's a deeper brown Oh, very, very creamy. I always use my KKW lip liner nude too. And since I'm getting low on it, I'm like, I need another lip liner. It's definitely not the same type of shade tone, but listen, it's brown. <laughs> Colored Rain, Jean or Janine or Jeanne. I don't know how to pronounce it. I put it in Siri and she said it's pronounced Jean, but it doesn't look that way. So this is how the packaging looks. It's their lip lacquer. And it's supposed to be, I think, like a more peachy tone, which should fit very well with this look. I don't know. And here is Colored Rain's lip packaging. Now, I really, really love the applicator. It has like this flat applicator, which is the best, but it smells like makeup. <laughs> it smells like how makeup used to smell when makeup smelled like makeup and didn't smell like sweets. Nowadays, you can't escape makeup that smells like um candy or like vanilla and it's a lip lacquer which means that it shouldn't dry down that it has more of a peachy tone i really like that i am calling the time 
2 o'clock because I am going to do a wear test. I would have called it 2 o'clock at 2 o'clock had my camera not died on me and I had to charge it for a while. I put the things in order. I really enjoy using this eye base. Like I said, you have to work really, really fast because it does dry down really quick and it dries down matte. But it is creamy at first. Make sure you shake it, of course. It applies very well. I had no problem blending anything out over this base. These Danessa Myricks, I'm not convinced on these because like I said, it is cracking. I went ahead and kind of cleaned it up. Tried to blend the eyeshadows back out over it because I did not like how it came out. She's a little crooked. <laughs> Obviously, they're not really meant that much for liner. They're more for like a base product or your, um, or your body, but I need a liquid liner, a green one, so I thought I could try this as the liquid liner. I'm gonna give it another shot before I give my final thoughts on it. I love this foundation. This just, just looks amazing. The shade is a little off, but I can make it work. When you go a little bit deeper, you won't receive that much flashback, if you did not know that. Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. Very, very creamy, very pigmented. A little goes a long way. I thought it was too dark at first, but once you blend it out, you see how smooth it is. And as for the Laura Mercier powder, it's definitely comparable to the ABH powder. Very, very smoothing, not drying at all. The bronzer applied very, very well it's buildable but it's not like in your face pigmented that's what I would say it's like very subtle but buildable as for the liners I don't know how well this is gonna last I feel like maybe this shade could last long but as for the green one that I applied I feel like this is gonna I feel like it's already starting to fade when you try to um, you know keep applying it it gets very patchy and that's what I needed a green and it's going patchy and this right here is going frizzy this lip gloss from Ioni it's too pink but like I said with a lip liner it should work pretty good I'll try it in the spring slash summer when I do like a simple look um yeah the Juvia's Place lipstick, no no complaints here. Get yourself a Juvia's Place lipstick. You are missing out if you don't have one of these lipsticks. I have it in a shade In Vogue, Lady, and now Toffee. This is the perfect brown that would just look so good on anyone, and it's wearable. You don't have to wait, wait until fall to wear a brown when you have Toffee. Lip liner glides on so smooth. You can see how smooth it was going. It was like, okay, it was going to run that way. And it's also vegan free friendly something like that cruelty free and vegan so I know a lot of people love that little little scene right there with the vegan and the cruelty free so if you like that get you a lip bar product and as for the lip lacquer love the shade glides on so smooth very comfortable oh my gosh my hair is just so frizzy this is why I don't straighten my hair because it just gets so frizzy so quick and it's not even that humid I just don't like the scent and you can taste it too. I feel like it keeps going in my mouth. Love this brush. I'm definitely going to have to pick up another one of these brushes. So soft and if it's still $10, even if it's like $11. <laughs> Oh, I forgot. Um, the samples that I received from Ulta was the Lancome Foundation. Some samples. Sunday Riley Good Jeans Ac Acid Treatment. Um, Dermatologic. Wait. Dermalogica. <laughs> Dermatologica <laughs> um, gel moisturizer, uh, Josie Marin Marin 100% um, pure or argan oil, and the uh, Believe the True Cream Moisturizing Balm. I'm not going anywhere or doing anything, so I'm not going to give you much of a wear test. But can you see it? Do I need to get closer? <laughs> Yes, these neon pigments do glow with a black light, which is what I have a black flashlight, a black light flashlight. <laughs> okay, I'm back on. I just have this um, love pink jacket on, but I still have that like neon green tank top on. It's now 7.22. It's not in focus. 7.22. So I've had this makeup on for five hours now. And I am oily on my T-zone area, which is to be expected. I have normal to combination skin where it's pretty dry in some spots around here. It's normal everywhere else, but I do get oily in the T-zone, especially on my nose area. But my skin is still pretty dry, even when I use a mattifying primer, like no matter if I'm, even 
even if I moisturize my skin, I still get very dry and if I mattify it, it's completely dry so I can't mattify my skin so I just have to deal with the oils. Which way is my mirror going? Eyeshadow still looks good. It still held up very well. The liner part is still cracked. I mean, it still looks like how I left off. The blue held up like I thought it would. The green is actually still there. Better than I thought it would. I thought it would have been gone by now. If I, if I would have cried, it would have been gone. <laughs> Foundation Serum. I still think that that held up really, really excellent. Like, there's no separation anywhere. It did not fade anywhere. It's still intact everywhere. <laughs> I feel like I'm oilier than I normally would be in the t-zone area because this is a serum foundation and not more mattifying the powder still looks good under the eyes i still creased as usual it did not prevent that but under the eye still looks really good even on camera it still looks smooth so i think that this powder is excellent it just does not mattify you so as for the cream products like the bronzer and stuff like that I feel like it's still showing. The blush may not be as strong because of course it's a cream blush and it would fade. I don't have any powder blush on so I don't see any of that but it may still be there but just like a faint little part of it. It's like five hours is about as long as I go especially when you have lashes on that is making your eyes tired. And heavy my eyes are really high the lip products they're completely gone like I ate I drank and it was just over so there's no way that that would have last on me um, my brows still look really good I don't set my brows so they still look good for brows that are not set I know some people like to kind of blot I got a little bit of green eyeshadow right there but after blotting I don't notice that it removed any product or anything like that like the highlighter is even still there is there anything else that I'm missing <laughs> it's time for me to go to sleep <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye